And now we're on to Rabito 1 and 2. And Rabito 1 and 2 are recipes that actually need quite a bit of work. So one in there. Triple Rejuve. Can't do it, need Cold Leaf. Triple Rage, Triple Libido, Triple Healing, Triple Growth. What does Growth need? Something else that we couldn't buy. Cold Leaf. Son of a... <laughs> Oh. One more day. One more day. And then I'll work on the rest of those Rubito recipes. I just, I want cold leaf. I need cold leaf and thorn stick, and then I've got everything that I could basically ever want, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and uh, shadow mushroom. Or witch mushroom. And then I've got everything I could ever want. Do I have an exploding potion? You betcha. You betcha I've got an exploding potion. You've been cursed, not overly complicated, add rainbow cap. And no more than three types of ingredients. Lady, are you high? Oh god, I can't even make it because I don't have witch mushroom. Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. Show me this Kraken Mushroom. So I really need to do this in two or less. Is basically what she's asking of me. Actually, Kraken Mushroom is not how you get to anti-magic, now that I think about it. But you know what, it's fine, whatever. We'd go, like, over here and then up, I guess. Should be fine, except I have nothing that makes that movement. This is cursed. This is so cursed. Um, That looks like it would be okay. Get me to, like, here. And just keep me away from the oil. Okay, now what? Mana berry will do okay. Now what? If I could just reach that whirlpool, life would be a lot better. And a Thunder Thistle almost does it. If I was to the left and up, just like a tiny bit further. Just a teeny tiny bit further. But I think I could also probably do this. And then this. I'm gonna need more Mana Berry too here pretty soon. There's no way I'm doing this in two or less ingredients. It would take a an inordinate amount of salt to be able to do that. I need to wrap around the other way. No, the other way. It'll, it'll do. I need to try and put the rainbow mushroom in too. I have it, so it might as well. Right there is looking like a natural three star. But I could also just dilute from back here and guarantee it. Except that the X covers up the line. Lucky ingredient, my ass. There we go. Will we be saving this? No, absolutely not. Will we be haggling this woman? Yes, absolutely. 
coming in here saying, yeah, I want a potion that prevents magical effects, but you can only put one kind of plant in it. I have very sensitive allergies. Something to make your plants grow faster, no more than three types of ingredients. You, on the other hand, are very easy to accommodate, my friend. It's gonna be a druid's rosemary into a druid's rosemary into a druid's rosemary, and you're done. Okay, I lied. It's not going to be Druid's Rosemary three times. It's going to be something else. Wait. Yeah, it's going to have to be something else. What works from here? Mm. 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 That will work. You just have to swing it around. Like here. Yeah, that'll do. Take me to like there. Overshoot it just a little bit for safety. Pull it back. Three stars. What's my other growth potion? It takes cold leaf. It's also just a better recipe, so I'm gonna save it, and when the druid shows up and we buy like 500 gold leaf, then we'll be very happy. Something to help you relax. Yes, I do. Never mind, just kidding. I will have to make it myself. It's the best option here. I kind of like this into this into feather bloom for the end of it. Is that what we do with the normal one? No, we use wind bloom. We use magma moral into boom bloom. What the hell? I guess technically it does go further. Okay, I can see it. I can see how that works. Here. And then... Boom Bloom. Oh, I see. Yeah. I understand. You move to the left, you catch the Whirlpool. And then you use some Feather Bloom at the end of it. Don't need to go that far. Need to go a little further than that, though. Should be fine. I want to ride this to the top, I think. Yeah, to right about there. That's not going to work the way I want it to. I need to be up further. Well, it's still probably the best option I have, and then I can just adjust when I get up there. Make a quick adjustment with some... I'm not going to put Stink Mushroom in a Libido Potion. It's just rude. What do I have, like, a ton of? Firebell, I guess. There we go. Good enough. Here's your potion to help you relax, ma'am. Alright, what are we buying? He still has not brought us witch mushroom. So we hate that. Grave Truffle does have me kind of curious, though. Also, Water Cap. We use a ton of Water Cap. 
Even if it's not on sale, it's 8,800. I want like 40. And then, weird shroom we do use a lot of. 1,700 to get all of it? Okay. Goblin shroom, Kraken mushroom we should be totally fine on. Yeah, we still have 99. And the rest of the stuff, I'm either good on or I don't particularly need it. So let's haggle. I think that means the druid's not coming today, which means we don't get cold leaf today. Which is a nightmare. Potion that makes it easier to carry all that stuff. Strength. And the reason that I don't want to just go and make these potions the way I have with, like, Citrinitas and Elbido and all that, good glue, yeah, I've got some laying around, is these would be, like, permanent recipes. And I'm going to assume that for a permanent recipe, I would have access to Cold Leaf. I need to make a potion of Elbido again. Ugh. Ingredient shortages are killing me, man. Maybe I do want to try it. Let's, let's do something a little weird. And let's try it this way. It doesn't really matter. It actually kind of mattered. But I don't think it's going to matter much. I don't know, I'm just kind of freestyling at this point. We hit here. We want the teleport, it'll move us further. Also gets us XP. Here though, we just want to move. And we're not going to get to move very far. But we just want to move. And where we want to move to specifically... I'd love to find a spot where that would work. Or that. Well, this is fine. This is fine. Nah, do not need to grind that much. not happy with a lot of these libido potions. I feel like there is a better libido potion in there somewhere. I'm just not finding it. Walls protect against the cold. Don't have lava root for either of those. Cold protection's out here. How do you do the cold protection, the other potion that we actually kind of liked? Did we like it at all? It's not that one. Double flame weed, fire bell, grasping root, thorn stick, terraria? That does not sound right at all. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I remember. It was. We did the. We went up and then we used weird shroom to back into it. So it would have been something like this. Into... not that. Not that. Kind of, actually. It's too close to the oil still. Hmm. I don't really like this anymore. 
Take me up instead. I think this is gonna clip oil now, though. Yeah, it does. That's okay, we'll live. I'd also like to clip Whirlpool, which I think we should be able to do from here. I want you to put me... Man, actually, right there is like kinda okay. And then I could just drop in with like a... Is a Goblin Shroom gonna do it? If I go all the way down to here, and then give myself a little extra to work with, I think that might actually do it. Nope, it won't, because you hit oil. And now you die. Now you're just dead. Oil, dude. Oil does not mess around. Not saving that one. Not good enough. I really need... I really need... Uh, cold leaf. I really need cold leaf. Real bad. I hate to just be going day to day here, but I really need cold leaf to put some of those recipes together. It's just the best herb, bar none, for moving to the right if you also need to go down at the same time. There's nothing that anyone can do to help it. 22,000 for Philosopher's Salt. Moves potion towards the nearest effect? Okay, that's kind of cool, though. Your pages are on sale. I don't think I can afford to fit another 17 paper. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. You've talked me into it. Just cram as much paper as possible into this book. Now, please show me Druid today. Potion that'll help you mellow out, you know. Excuse me? Oh, you want to get high. <laughs> you want to get high, high. Okay, I understand. Uh, healing potion. Yeah, sure. Turn the map southeast? I mean, I guess. I don't want to use a recipe that has salt in it either, though. Potion make you smell better? I don't think I can do that either. I'm, wi I'm missing, uh, mushrooms. Potion that increases libido. Yeah, I do. Here you go. Please, God, sell me cold leaf. You need to restore its magical properties. Is it just like a, a mana potion? Okay, mana potion works. Sure. You do not have cold leaf. I can't believe you've done this. You do have dream beat, we'll be buying that. You do have tangleweed, we'll be buying that. Whirlweed we use. Mageberry we use. Dragon pepper we use. Water bloom we use. Flameweed we, we use. I need to three star haggle for this. That's okay, I know how to three star haggle. I just have to not fail. There you go. It's as easy as that. <laughs> you need a sticky potion. 12 versus 22. We'll do the one that I can make 22 of. Your eyesight's gotten poor. I can make you 36 of these. You need to light candles and fires, and you want stink mushroom to be the main ingredient. Not happening. That's just going to be a fire potion. Bad case of the runs, healing potion. No additional effects for you. I don't know what that even means. No progress, you need a potion of inspiration. Whoop. 
Can't make it. No witch mushroom, no cloud crystal. I wish I could help you. You need poison. You'll pay extra for additional effects, you're not getting additional effects. You're just getting poison. Tomorrow's the last day. If we don't get cold leaf tomorrow, then I'm just going to make a bunch of Rebito recipes that don't use cold leaf. And that's just going to have to be the way that it is. We've been waiting like a week for cold leaf to show up, and it hasn't happened, so... At least I can buy Cloud Crystal, since we've needed that for potions of inspiration for a long time. Frost Sapphire. I think we're also out of Frost Sapphire. We are. Blood Ruby? I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah. And Plague Stib Knight? I'm pretty sure we have. So I will take those Frost Crystals as well. I only have $900 to buy Cold Leaf today, too, which is kind of unfortunate. Potion that'll help you in your Frost Magic Research. How about a Potion of Frost Resistance? Just kidding, can't make those. How about a Potion of Frost? He loves it. Potion that lets people see in the dark. That would be Magic Vision. Glue-like potion. That would be a potion of gluing. The hint is in the title. Your behind hurts. You have no idea why. My favorite ingredient is water cap. And there's no more than two types of ingredients. I do have water cap. And it is quite easy to make a potion of healing. So... Sure. Oh, there's a potion of healing that's just healer's heather. That's interesting. Should be, like, right here. Yeah, right there. Just kidding, not right there. Right there. I'll save that. This is just going to be a tiny vial. Is that the healing potion? No, you're bigger than that. You're in like the diamond flask. That guy. And you are the triple hearts icon. No, that's, that's the love icon. How am I not seeing the three hearts? Are they a color other than pink? By default? He's actually gone blind. He's actually blind. Are they up here? <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's the pluses! I was looking for hearts. It's pluses. Okay, so really maroon like that yeah and then like this and then like this good enough yeah I'll keep it like that this person also wanted to have a uh, water cap in it so Chuck a water cap in there, finish it. It's that guy. No, but thorn stick. Also grasping root. Also, I don't think we have any terror bud. Also, we need a lot of flame weed. No, we have 64. We need Dream Beat, though. I can't even haggle for this. Hang on. Grasping Root, we have 72. I don't actually need these. 
Terabyte, I have 27. I'll take more, though. Thornstick, we know we need. We've griped enough about being out of Thornstick. And Dreambeat, we also know we need. So, sure. You need grease with multiple effects. You've told me nothing else about, like, the kind of grease that's gluing. You've told me nothing else about, like, the kind of thing you're using it for, so I'm just gonna give you a normal one. Potion you can throw in a monster to deal damage. It's a potion of explosion. Something that smooths your wrinkles. Yeah, that's a rejuve potion. Can't make those, though. Need cold belief. Goodbye. Potion lets me fly over Black Mountain. Levitate. We're about to run out of something for levitate. I don't know what it is. Can't sleep. God, there's pages everywhere. There's pages in random places in this book. Get out of your pages. Sleep potion. Oh, I had one already. Whoops. <laughs> You need a potion of inspiration, but it needs to be weak. No. I will not. I refuse. I just want to hide in my basement and make really bad rubido. So, two triple lust. Let's get serious about making a Lust Potion that doesn't use Lava Root, because we're never going to see Lava Root again in our lives, apparently. Down, and then a Terror Bud could go into a Libido Potion. Now that I think about it. So we get, like, there. No, it would need to be further up. If we get, like, here, I think we could Terror Bud. So I think I have a pathway for that. Let's try it. Something like this. Here, I do want the extra distance. And now I need something that really just like lands me on top of that whirlpool. It's wasting a lot of grasping root to do it that way, but I don't think I have a better option. So I guess we'll just go with it. The there should teleport me. It does, okay. Good start. And now I just need something that moves me over to like, yeah, right there, basically. So this should be Firebell and Terror Bud. Should get us real close, if not directly on top of it. Not quite, but we might be able to make an adjustment off of that whirlpool. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot Terror Bloom existed. Or Terror Bud. It kind of does interesting things, though. Too far in. It's not gonna work either. Not being able to nail a three star libido potion in the way that I want to is really starting to grind my gears. We've had a lot that are really close, but none of them have just come together the way that I want them to. 
save this temporary recipe. Temp recipes go over here. Where do you even go? In here. Triple growth, can't do growth, need gold leaf. But we can make a growth pretty easily with what we've got. I wonder if there's anything that would let us do this in two herbs. It's a lot of distance to cover. That's not it. That's probably not it. That's definitely not it, but it could be in another world. That might be it. Mushroom might end up being really good here. Yeah, I'd say right about there, honestly. This is dangerous, though. Okay, we're safe. That is actually an interesting little recipe that I think I will be saving. So this goes in the giant bottle. It's got the stump with the plants coming out of it, and it's unchanged beyond that. And it's on this page. Yeah, you're good. Make one of you. Delete you. Useless cold leaf recipes. Cold leaf doesn't might as well just not even exist in the game. Uh you. Triple rejuve is gonna be a mess. How do we wanna go about that? Well what do we We need shadow or uh the witch mushroom for that, because we used it to make this move. Is basically really all it comes down to. So every other part of that recipe should still work pretty well. What are the other components? Nope, never mind, it's just a cold leaf recipe. So we should be able to do this whole thing. It's 100% healer's heather, 100% healer's heather. Stir 14, base 3. I don't understand why I would do that, but presumably if I put it in, I'll understand. Healer's other one. Healer's other two. Only stir 14, base three. Why? And then what after that? Druid's rosemary? What the hell is this recipe? Like, I know where I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get here so I can teleport across that wall. Oh, unless I'm not. Unless I'm trying to go across there. That seems foolish, though. Does this teleport at all? It doesn't even teleport. Oh, it's on the oil base! That's why. You fool. Delete this. It's an oil base recipe because it exists over there. This makes so much more sense now. And here's why you do stir 14 base 3, so you avoid this oil patch. So you do it like that. You pour in some base. Do it like that, and then you go Druid's Rosemary, 100%. Because we are aiming for this gap, presumably. And then what? And then an evergreen 38. I can see that. To like there, probably. And 
and then a druid's rose. Oh, you're coming in from like underneath. Well, I don't really want to do that anymore because my window of opportunity to do that has closed. So instead, I will be uh, regretting everything. Don't like this recipe anymore. Down and through is probably going to end up being safer. So I guess we'll do that. And this, again, is where Cold Leaf would come in handy, but Cold Leaf doesn't exist. It's dead. It's a dead herb. I need something that's a straight shot. Water cap is a pretty straight shot, actually. What if I do like Terraria and then water cap? Like most of a Terraria. To get to like here? That's not gonna work because water cap goes to the left first. You're gonna go right through that bone wall. Yeah, okay, that's pretty true. What if you do a bit of that first? I don't know. The wheels are coming off. Shoot the gap. Need to not shoot the gap. Okay. Let's recollect. Now that we know we're actually supposed to be in the oil map, now that we know the south path is safer. Down to 27 healers other, by the way. I don't know if you were paying attention to that. But you're about to run out of another very important herb. Yeah, all right, noted. Can't really do anything about it, because i got to wait for the druid to go and pick flowers to make any kind of living out of this place. Mm. It's not horrible. That's such a narrow gap, though. Hey, they're both such narrow gaps. Here's the other thing. You just bought how much tangleweed? 68 of it. What if you just ate the oil? Like, I know it's not ideal and it wastes a lot of reagent, but... What if you just got in there and got oily? So it worked out fine. And this needs to be three star rejuve, so let's overshoot it by just a little bit. Well, it's not horrible, but it does use like all of the healers have their known demand. So you're also going to be a temp recipe. Temp Strong Potion of Rejuvenation. Temp Strong Potion of Libido. Make a second one. Finish it. You go in there. And then what do we have? Double Libido, double Rejuve. Which has to be done on the water map. How did you do it previously? Well, you named it This Potion Sucks As Remake It, so I'm going to guess previously it didn't go that well for you. We have a Life Crystal Teleport. We also have an Earth Pyrite Teleport. We have all the teleports we need. We only need two stars of Rejuve. Okay, that's it. We are two stars of Libido. It doesn't need to be the most perfect potion known to man. I want to be able to get from here into there. My other option... If 
finding a way to wind bloom in there, but wind bloom is just too wide. My other option. No, feather bloom's also just like feather bloom will work if we can get to right there. But I don't know what gets us to right there using this teleport route. We need something that goes from there to there with leftover ingredient from this teleport. So it goes like down and then up. Actually, you know what goes down and then up is dragon pepper. Dragon pepper does go down and then up. All right, I'm willing to try this again. I think grasping root just barely touches it. I can't remember though. Do I have anything that's safer? No. You're gonna have to hope. Okay, thank god. First of all, thank god. Now, Dragon Pepper, how do you do here? You do... okay. This may work. I basically need to go from here to here. <laughs> okay, actually this is going to work really well. I think we've actually solved it. The irony being, of course, we only need a two-star effect here and we're about to do it in three stars. <laughs> but, whatever. I will take a minor deviation from making Rubido to finally, finally get a three-star libido potion sorted. That, I am willing to say, is about as good as it's ever going to get for us. Okay, you are in the Voluptuous Spray Bottle. No, that one. You do not have, like, the weird pomegranate labia icon. You just don't. You have the hearts icon. And this is one that does not use a lava root. Okay, there it is. Now we do the same thing, but worse. We do the same thing, but with two stars. And then we go to the complete other side of the map. This part, don't have to be too precise. Really enjoy that. As long as you're in the ballpark, you're in good shape. Dragon pepper, you're using mostly the whole thing. Wait for it to stop spinning. There's no rush. Take your time and spin it around. And then get off like right about there. Come up. I don't know that I can use that, but maybe I can. What's my alternative? 
My alternative, I think, is mudshroom shenanigans get like down there. Kind of like that a lot more. Okay. Only two stars here. Does this give us a good angle out? Yeah, pretty good. It's as good as it's gonna get. Fire it for the effect. Use all of this. Every last drop. I think that was way further than I needed to go. Which is a little unfortunate. Because I actually wanted to whirlpool here. No, I'm doing this all wrong. You're gonna be mad, I know, but it's hang on, I lost focus. I I very briefly zoned out and it cost me everything. There's a way that we can make that mudroom go so much further. Grasping root. Just up to there is fine. Dragon pepper. Just over there is fine. two stars. Doesn't need to be any better. Cook it. Now, what we need to do with this mudshroom is we need to just barely make it out of here. Teleport just barely make it under those bones, teleport, and then use up the rest of it, and then, you know, wind up, like, down here, use a crystal, whatever. From there, we'll have it figured out. Grind it. So we need to stop, like, here. we can really use this dilution to carry us. Like so. And there's a lot more of that mudshroom left than the last time we were trying to do that and just not paying attention. And then from here, we use up a little more of it just to get us around that lip, basically. And I might have to use up a little more of it. Teleport here again. And now it's like Druids, Rosemary, Druids, Rosemary, Druids, Rosemary, Druids, Rosemary. Just over and over and over again. But like maybe not right there. Maybe like Weird Shroom. And then Druids, Rosemary, Druids, Rosemary. Healer's Heather goes a lot further here, actually. I'm worried about how much of it we have left, but... It's a much better mover right now. We can use this Whirlpool. We actually don't know where that Whirlpool goes currently. Nor do we know where that one goes. 
That's interesting. We should come down here later because they might be useful. Oh shit, I, mm, I did not want to teleport. I guess we're finding out where it goes. It's actually extremely helpful. Okay, we're going to have to use... No, we can dilute here. It's okay. We haven't ruined everything. And we got extremely lucky that that was a useful world. Teleport across here. It's just going to be a simple Terraria to get us underneath that. This is just going to be a simple... Tangleweed will work. We're far enough away from those bones. From here, this is looking like a pretty good... Nope, never mind. It's looking like a pretty good evergreen fern. To be honest with you. Take me to, like, there. And then I'll ride the whirlpool a bit. Probably didn't need to go that far in. And I really don't want it to teleport us, so actually just get me out of there. This needs to be three-star rejuve or two-star rejuve? Two-star rejuve. Pretty sure that Spellbloom would, like, put me on top of it, but we don't have any Spellbloom, so that's unlucky. Also, I kind of massively overshot it there. <laughs> this is... This is rather sloppy. I think this is a sign that I should probably go to bed pretty soon. I was thinking we always have Kraken Mushroom, so why not use a Kraken Mushroom on it, but... We also have 180 gold berry. And I think gold berry will also do just fine in this case. Rotate it just to two. Don't need to go further. There it is. Fire it. And this is good. This is a decent recipe, despite some of the screw-ups that we had later on. So instead of this potion sucks as remake it, we will now have you, and this is potion of youthful energy. You go in, oh, you go in a giant round flask. Your icon is Rubido. change the wrong potion. You go in... Oh, that's not the giant round flask. There's an even gianter, rounder flask? Oh, you. What about the other one? No, these are the same. This is the right potion. Or this is the right flask for this potion. There we go. That is much better. And then we can delete you. You can get out of here. We need a second one of these as well, I think. Yes, we do. You go there. Triple growth. Double enlargement. Don't have cold leaf. Of course not. Also don't have lava root. We have to make a second one anyway. Also, potions of loving could be made better. Do not ever craft this again. Could presumably be made better. Fearful blast. We can make eleven. I mean, at least there's that. That recipe kind of owns. You go up there in the top, in the middle top flask, right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do I have... There should be seven Rubido recipes. Why do I only have six? Is it because triple health, double strength is so easy to make that I didn't even bother to save it? 
yes. <laughs> That's exactly why. Okay, fair. Well, I guess that's something we can do that's relatively easy. Triple health, double strength? No, I feel like I saved that potion somewhere. I absolutely saved that potion. Maybe not. Well, in any case... Continue brewing from here, stir it, dilute it all the way back, add a mudroom. Just barely hit the whirlpool. Send it. You are Potion of Vigorous Might. Yeah, that's fine. Giant Bottle. Label. Rubido Crystal. Make a second one. Finish that one. You go into the Swirly Flask. Triple libido, one dex, one swiftness. Well, look, we know triple libido already. So what's easier? Dex, swiftness, libido, or libido... Oh, we could go up to get to swiftness very easily. We're going to want to start with triple libido. So continue from here... No, that's not quite right, because I want to go this way after I hit that. So what goes up into the left, or up into the right? And it has to go up first into the right second. Not that. Sort of that. <laughs> Foggy Bear is also weird. But, like, it kind of does exactly what we need here. Alright, fine. Goes to, like, there. But then from here we teleport. It's a strange one. Now we need to get to swiftness, so we're just going to move to the right as fast as we can. And moving to the right as fast as we can usually involves water cap. And then we should be able to drop onto that. We're close. We're close to being able to drop onto that with a healer's other. No, but it's okay, because we have to go to Dex anyway. So we're going to go to, like, here. We're going to go to, like, here. And then we're going to find an herb that goes very far to the left. To the right. Is it going to be Tangleweed? Yes, I think it's going to be Tangleweed. Hello. How's your night going? That's good. I'm glad that I can be of service. How's your night? That's good. I do feel like I'm starting to lose focus on being able to make potions, so I'm probably not going to go much longer, but that's okay. It's one swiftness, one dex. I 
Pull it all the way back. Oh, this is all wrong. I need to get away from those bones. Something like that will probably do. And then that looks like it should still mostly work. Yeah, we're fine. Mm, Kraken Mushroom might be close enough to get one star out of that. Like right there. Dude, honestly, what can't it do? So this is a replacement for you. Don't delete fully back to start after switching this effect. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna delete you because I'm pretty sure this one's better. Yeah, it uses the six and four libido, and then after that, it uses water cap. That makes sense. They're roughly the same, but I think this one is slightly better because it's using the better base for the libido potion. You're that label. You are libido. And this is a potion of sensual caressing. Because, like, look at it. Look at it. Make a second one. Where do you go? You go into the long neck flask. Right there. What do we still need to do? A lot of stuff that still needs to hit. Rejuve, which scares the hell out of me. Triple growth, double and baconing shouldn't be that bad. Where's our new good triple growth recipe? It's here, so we'll start with that. And then we just need to head way over here. So how do we do embiggening again? We have a decent embiggening recipe. Oh, 711 on an oil base. I see, okay. We don't have a good sense of how to do it on the water base. But we do know that we have a teleport. So, let's try and plan this out. That doesn't really help. That's a pretty wide whirlpool, so if we could hit here, we can go to there. And then we can, like, Lust Mushroom Firebell and just skip across. That one was also kind of interesting. But moving up this channel is probably relatively difficult. Because we'd hit here, we'd teleport across. It's like one wind bloom, two wind bloom, and then that starts to get awkward. So I'd rather just teleport across here. It's much more open. This is probably going to be our start regardless. And we just need to be far enough over that we don't run into bones. So let's, like, hit bone. Skip to here, and then we should be able to go all the way back to the start. Sail over that way. I'll use a second one of them, and then we'll probably Lust Mushroom up into that Whirlpool. Looks like it should be about able to hit. Not quite. But we can, we can still make use of that. It's usable. It doesn't get us there in one, but it is usable. because then we just grab some of this. And then we stop like here. We teleport. And then 
Bloodthorn gets us out of here really well. It does use up our last Bloodthorn, but it moves us out of here so well. So I'll do it. And if we could just get a little extra elevation on this too. Like right there. Then we should be able to flame weed directly into... Actually, it's kind of close. But nothing else is going to move us even further to the, to the left. So we kind of have to. I wish I'd gone up just a tiny bit further, because I'm worried that we're going to be too far off the line to get a two-star. Let's find out, though. Only one way to know for sure. Oh, we still got it. All right. Decent. Fire it. Save it. What's your deal? Potion of Giant's Growth. I like this more. For sure, for sure. So we used Magma Moral, Four Fire Bell, a Lava Root, a Boom Bloom. Versus here, we just used Four Flame Weed and a Lust Mushroom. Magma Moral might have been the better call. So we used four, five, six, seven versus four, five. But we used a lot of flame weed. That's probably still fine. So you go in here with that label, with that crystal, in that spot. What do we call this? Rampant Growth? Potion of Giant's Growth, yeah. Potion of Giant's Growth. Delete. Make a sec. Oh, we can't make. Oh, we need the bloodthorn to make a second one of you. That's okay. We have the recipe saved. We'll use this potion. Uh, you go here. Excuse me. Why is that wrong? Oh, that's just a triple wild growth. We need this one. Two to go. Double health, one poison resist, one acid resist, one rejuve. Boom. There is no poison resist on this map, right? So this has to be an oil base? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I'm fine with that. Two health. Well, how did we do it before? Do not ever craft this again. I can immediately see why. The good berry start is bizarre. Like, I guess it does get you two of them. Alright, you know what? I'll try it. I'll fall for the bait. There's two. That's a great start already. And then skip past it. What other effects did we need? One poison resist, one acid resist. Okay, there's poison, and then acid is a little further beyond. Druid's Rosemary is going to do fine. We do want to stop right about there, because otherwise we're going to hit oil. And then I'm looking at this, I'm thinking like that into Weird Shroom could do really well for us. So let's give that a try. It's a little close to the bone zone for my liking, but I think we'll be okay. It was a lot close to the bone zone for my liking, but we were okay. And now, we only need one of all of these. 
So this almost looks like a second Goodberry, second Weird Shroom. One. Okay, this is going great so far. We know that we want to take this path and just kind of muscle through oil from our previous experiences with rejuvenation on this map. But at the same time... What if we didn't? What if instead we did like this? And then we did like this. And then we actually probably could have had a sick water cap there, but I just kind of, like, forgot. <laughs> uh, oh well. Yeah, just power through with water blooms. Don't think about it too hard. Don't love that they pull you into the bones like that. But I'm pretty sure we've made it through. Yeah, good enough. And one. That is way better. So what did we have to, what did we formally call you? Do not ever craft this again. Okay, well that's not what we're gonna call it anymore. This is going to be like a a potion of natural because it protects against poison and acid. Those are both nature effects. It heals you and it rejuvenates you. It's like potion of natural restoration. Big flask, label, rubido, make a second one, and finish brewing the first one. You go here. Last one, potion of a full life. It's all over the place. Libido one, rage one. Healing one, wild growth one, rejuve one. So that's a water map. Boom, boom. It's question marks. Boom. Boom. Boom? What's the fourth effect? It's growth. Okay, yeah, we're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we know how to do this first step already. Starting to run low on Boom Bloom, though. That's concerning. Grasping root. Teleport. Dragon Pepper. to stop spinning and then take your opportunity we only need one star so we're just gonna skim it Rage. We need to go slightly up, and then we need to go down. What accomplishes this? None of you. You're all useless. Just 
Does Magic Mushroom do this? Oh my god, Magic Mushroom kind of does this. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to want to go to, like, here, I would guess. I don't really know. We're just going to kind of go on an adventure. I think I needed you. No, this will be good enough for one. It's good enough for one. Okay, rage, done. Now, fastest way to get back home. This dilution is a little scary because you have to make a couple adjustments in the middle. Like if you can clip, if you can hit this whirlpool to get to like there, you're mostly okay. But then I guess like this way is even worse. All right, fine. So it gets us around that. Weird Shroom probably does. It does, and it also gives us an adjustment in the direction that we'd want to go. If things go south. So dilute it back. You're going to ride this just a little bit. And see, this is the part where it would be scary. But we know that we can just give it a quick stir. Get it totally back to middle, because we know how to do a one-star health effect. One-star health effect is just a healer's heather. And then also, isn't a one-star... isn't healer's heather also in here? Yeah, into a moss room. Okay, so this works out great. One. And then you. And we ride the whirlpool to do you. that effect, and now we just need to go get Rejuve. And Rejuve is kind of easy now that we know about that whirlpool. So this is just going to be a classic mud shroom all the way down to about there. I don't want a thorn stick. God, Grave Travel almost goes super hard. In fact, If we could move down, like, just a little bit. I think this is worth it. How do you do from here, my boy? He gets there. I can't think of anything else that can do that move in one. There is nothing else that does that move in one. So you're gonna go to like there, and then we're gonna teleport. And then we're gonna go down... We don't know where that goes. I wish I knew if it went to, like, here, because that would be incredibly convenient. But we don't. I need to be, like... Yeah, this is just going to be the most convenient way to do it. I need to be, like, here. Terraria. 
And then here's the part where we wish we had Cold Shroom, but we don't. Or Cold Leaf, or whatever it used to be called before it stopped existing, before it went extinct. So instead I'll use like a good berry. Tangleweed's not gonna work. Water cap's not gonna work. There's a time when water cap would have worked, but it's not anymore. Just get off the bone. And then for this whirlpool, I want something that goes down and then up. Does such a thing exist? Yeah, Mushroom kind of does it again. But I'd need to be further over. And I don't think it's really worth it. So instead, I think we're going to use Druid's Rosemary. Just to go to here so we can traverse to the other side of the whirlpool. And then we're going to Mage Berry. And again, if I could just get a little more distance out of that Whirlpool, I think this would probably save us Unherb. But since the Urban question is going to be saving us is like a Water Leaf, I don't care that much. Finish it. Save it. And then let's compare. Do not ever craft this again. I won't. You have my word. So it's you versus you. We started with libido. It was one lava root, one fire bell, one lust mushroom, one sulfur shelf, two feather boom to get to libido. Versus here it was one, two, three, four. After that, we went down. We did weird shroom, gold thorn, Weird Shroom Goldthorn took us back to the spawn. Here, Rainbow Cat Weird Shroom took us back to the spawn. I like that way more. Then we did Healer's Heather, three Water Bloom, four Mud Shroom. Here we did a Healer's Heather, a Moss Shroom. Well, what took us to the teleport? Oh, that was it. One, three, four. Here we did one, 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 two. Better. Oh, and Grave Truffle and two Druids Rosemary. Okay, so this one made much better time going south. Probably because it just used a bunch of Mudshroom. And then it was Earth Pyrite Tangleweed Cold Leaf. Holy cow. Whereas we did three Good Berry, one Water Bloom, one Mage Berry. So the first half of this potion was better. The second half was much worse. Compare to... No. We're not doing that. Potion of a full life. Compare to second half of other full life potion. We could do a lot better on the second half of that potion. Is the moral of that story. So you're just going to go there. We're going to make a second one of you. We're going to finish you. You go there. So this makes a Rubido. Pull it. All of this work was to get us back to where we were before we destroyed our first Rubido. Just as a reminder. You go here. Potion of Rage. Can't make it. Don't have three Bloodthorn. Noted. Triple Libido. Triple Health. Wrong. <laughs> Triple Growth. Good. Potion of Fearful Blasts goes here. The Beedo Swiftest X goes here. 
healing poison acid rejuvenation goes here full life goes here healing strength goes here libido rejuv goes here triple growth double and biggin why didn't I make a second one of those can't because you ran out of blood thorn. Same reason you can't make another rage potion. One more day and then we're done. I would love to make this second rubido potion. Or this second rubido. Have that be our stopping point. And then next time we play we're all in on Philosopher's Stone, Life Salt, and Philosopher's Salt. Seems like a natural stopping point. Fresh and preserved. Frost potion. I can make them all day. Stronger, faster, and more agile. Swiftness potion? No. How about dex potion? Potions that help with instrument affairs. Libido. Uh, fragrant potion, but it needs to be weak? Can't be done. You have not brought me Bloodthorn, you have brought me Witch Mushroom, though. For this, I'm thankful. Sure. How are we doing on Mushroom? Have we been using a lot of it? Nope, we still have 103. Still gonna buy it. Grave Truffle kinda goes insane. How are we doing on Shadow Chanterelle? Actually, those are important. 124. We're fine there. We're fine on Mad Mushroom. We just bought a bunch. We're at 196. Water Cap, we should be fine on 77. We don't use Boop Shroom. These all look fine. We'll haggle. We have $300 to our name. That's okay, though. Need to enlarge a certain part of your body. We can do it, thank goodness. I need to haggle some of these people for money. Potion to get you up a high sheer cliff. Out of Bloodthorn. Maybe Dex will work though? Like maybe you can maybe you can climb it? Yeah, you can climb it. You need an invis potion. Can make you 22 of those bad boys. Oh my god, just win the haggle, please. There we go. Potion make you smell better? Don't have it. Sorry, nothing I can do about it. We're just out of the ingredients, and we got no bloodthorn, so that's where I'm going to be done. I do not want to go through the steps of making... Well, hang on, it's actually only just... No, because I'd have to make this one too, and this one's a giant pain. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait until we see a Bloodthorn Merchant, which is gonna have to wait until tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out, if you're hanging out. Um, next stream, let me look at my calendar, because things are starting to calm down a bit here. One pending... No, I did this. Okay, actually, technically I didn't do that often yet. Um... Next stream is probably going... I could do a... Uh, I might actually be able to do the 11 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to aim for like the 11 a.m. to... No, I'd say like noon to 3. I'm going to aim for a noon to 3 tomorrow. Let's try and get back on an actual schedule. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I really... I'm looking forward to maybe wrapping this up. I'm terrified of how long Philosopher's Stone... Life Salt and Philosopher's Salt are going to take. I'm sure those are just absolute nightmare recipes, but, you know, we'll figure them out. We'll put them together, and it'll be a, a good time. But thanks for hanging out tonight, if you're hanging out tonight. Uh, if you miss the next stream, there's always the VODs channel, and I hope you enjoy the, the rest of your week. But take care. I'll see you next time.